Welcome to English Stripped Bear. Today, we are going to talk about apostrophes and their proper placement on words ending in S. No, we're not! What? No one wants to hear about stupid apostrophes. It's boring! No, it's not! It is! Plus, I have something way more interesting to talk about. I worked very hard on this. I stayed up all night researching. Cry me a river. Today, we're going to take a look at words that have vastly different meanings in the US than in the UK. American English versus British English? Kind of. Only we're going to study words which have an offensive meaning in one culture, but not in the other. Oh, that's interesting. I know. Much better than talking about apostrophes. Mm. To be clear, there are a number of words that have different meanings in American English than their British counterparts. For example? Well, one that comes to mind is brilliant. Hmm. In the US, it means very smart. Mm -hmm. It's a very high compliment. Mm -hmm. She's a brilliant scientist. Okay. In the UK, it's a bit more watered down, meaning something is cool or just simply okay. Huh. A British person might say, the food is brilliant at a very simple meal. So hearing brilliant from a Brit means something is mediocre, but a young would be describing someone very intelligent? Yes. I see. The difference between the usages is fairly significant, mm -hmm. but won't really cause any offense. Got it. It is a great idea, right, sir? Brilliant. And I mean that in the American way, where something's actually brilliant, not in the way you people describe a cup of coffee. Let's get into these words. I want to hear what they are. Okay. The first one is geezer. Geezer? Oh, that's a funny word. Yeah. The GZ combination of sounds is humorous. Ben is a geezer. What does it mean? In the UK, a geezer is a very masculine guy. Beer and football? Exactly. In the US, a geezer is a derogatory term for an old person. <laughs> really? Yeah, so quite a bit different. That's awesome. If you need a ride, the church offers a shuttle service. I'm not getting on that geezer bus. It's just for people who can't get around. That's because they're so shriveled up they can't even see over the steering wheel. That's not nice. I want to hear more. Okay. These are going to get progressively more offensive. <laughs> the next one is... Rubber. Hmm. Do you have a rubber I can use? Rubber? What does it mean? In the UK, it's just an eraser. Like on the end of the pencil? Yeah. Okay, that seems really innocent. How about in the US? Rubber is a very common and popular slang term for a condom. Oh, ho, ho. it completely redefines. Do you have a rubber I can use? <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, yes. She reaches down, she unzips his fly, and she grabs his cock. And guess what? What? The little bastard already had a rubber on. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> I oh, swear. Bullshit. <laughs> Wendy told me. Why would she lie? Horny little mother wore a rubber to his date. She got so pissed off, she wouldn't even let him touch her. <laughs> the next word on our list is pissed. Doesn't this mean to urinate? Yes, there is that slang usage. However, in this case, no. Dave was pissed last night. Mm -hmm. In the UK, it means drunk. Okay. In the US, however, it means extremely angry. Wow, that's very different. Yeah, almost like it's a different language. Yeah. In American English, people usually say pissed off, mm -hmm. but it's acceptable to just use pissed. Good to know. Come on, let's get pissed and watch porn. <laughs> Speaking of being pissed, many of you out there still haven't subscribed to our channel. Yeah, Barrington is always pissed. What? But you can help by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. And don't forget to ring that bell to get notifications for our new videos. We release new material for free every week. Also, check out our website, English Stripped Bear. We have detailed notes, vocabulary, and extra information that expands on our videos. Check it out! Link in the description! What's next? Things really get a lot more offensive from here. 
Okay, I'm ready. The next word is fag. People that use British English might say something like, "Do you have a fag?" Hmm. They're simply asking for a cigarette. Okay. In the U.S., fag is a derogatory slang term for a gay man. Hmm. It's short for faggot. You might hear something like, "You're a fag." Oh, that's not cool. No, it's not. And now you can see how these differences between American and British English can really get you into trouble.、Hmm. Back in the 1980s and 90s, "fag" was a common slur. Okay. If you watch a movie from that time period, <laughs> it wouldn't be surprising for that word to pop up.、Hmm. Nowadays, it's really offensive to use in the U.S. So don't. I don't understand. They're the ones who started the name calling. Well, that's not really what was happening. Yeah, you know, as part Brit, you should know what we call our cigarettes here. Okay, I think we've got time for one more. Great. The last one is my favorite. It's Fanny. Isn't Fanny the name of a bank? Yes, there is a bank in the U.S. called Fanny Mae, which is probably hilarious to British people. Hmm. You'll see why in a moment. In the U.S., a fanny is referring to the butt.、Mm -hmm. It's actually a word that we would use with young children. I fell down and landed on my fanny. I've heard the term fanny pack. Yeah, a fanny pack is a bag that is worn around the waist.、Mm. They were very popular in the U.S. in the 90s.、Mm. Uh, now they're not very fashionable. Why is this one your favorite? Because in the U.K. Fanny means vagina. Vagina? <laughs> oh yeah, and it's quite offensive to use. <laughs> It brings a whole new meaning to "I fell down and landed on my fanny." I know where my father is. Okay, he came back to make sure that my mother wasn't really in love with my uncle. He wants to know if he's still got a shot with her. If he doesn't, he's leaving. Well, if he's got a shot with her, just give me a little tap on the fanny. That's not gonna happen. Okay. I didn't realize how different American and British English are. We need to be really careful when using these words. What do you think about our list? Do you know any similar words? Let us know down in the comments. If you are interested in hearing more lessons like this, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching today. See ya. Bye bye. I just wish your friends were as mature as you. They are mature, actually. You just have to. Get to know them better. Paging Doctor Faggot. Doctor Faggot. I should go. That's a good idea, Doctor Faggot. Have a good weekend. I miss you.